Fake news has been a big topic for the last few months. But what is it, and where does it come from? Fake news, also known as lying, has been around for hundreds of years, ever since Johannes Gutenberg used his printing press to spuriously link a recent outbreak of Black Plague to King Henry VI's use of a private email server. Despite President Trump's belief that the biggest fake news outlets are CNN and the New York Times, currently, the United States gets most of its fake news from Eastern Europe, where it is refined using a simple process. To begin, all fake news starts with real, unexciting news. First, the headline is made more clickable. Then, some choice adjectives and nouns are added to accentuate. And finally, the whole thing is replaced with a lie, often about pedophilia. Of course, nobody has any way to stop those stories from proliferating because, as we all know, social media companies can only monitor users when they need to sell your information for profit. The final stage of fake news is when real media outlets are forced to debunk the story. But the public doesn't read those stories, and why would they? We all know the lamestream media is full of cucks.